The fight for independence in Catalonia has made headlines all over the world over the past decade, especially in 2017 and 2019, when those headlines were accompanied by images of huge mobilizations of people and shocking scenes of violence and riots. But now, the movement that has enjoyed so much success and cohesion over the past decade seems to be at an impasse. After 10 years of collaboration, working together through the referendum vote in 2017 and for years afterwards, the two main pro-independence parties are are now no longer united by their shared goal of splitting from Spain. But how did we get here? Divisions between Esquerra Republicana and Junts per Catalunya were evident ever since the fallout of the 2017 referendum, with no consensus on the road ahead following the vote. After the brief declaration of independence and direct rule from Madrid, some of the referendum organisers decided to leave the country and continue working on Catalan independence from abroad, including then-President Carles Puigdemont, while others, including then-Vice President Oriol Junqueras, thought that staying and facing arrest and imprisonment while legally challenging the charges was the best option. Junts prefer a more confrontational approach with Spain over the independence issue, while Esquerra believe that a more gradual approach is best. Junts insist the 2017 referendum was legal and legitimate and want to work toward implementing the results of that vote, while Esquerra say that they need to agree on a future binding self-determination referendum with Spain, one that comes with international recognition. On top of that, both parties rival each other for voters with different ideologies and strategies toward independence. After Pere Aragonés of Esquerra was named president in 2021, one of the first tasks of his administration was managing the dialogue table between the Catalan and Spanish governments. These meetings to discuss the political conflict were assured as part of the investiture agreement that Esquerra made with the socialists that saw Pedro Sánchez assume power in Madrid in 2019. The first major hurdle arrived when Junts wanted to send party members who were not part of the Catalan executive at the time, but Aragonés decided that only ministers should attend. Without seeing eye to eye on the matter, Junts refused to take part in the talks and instead criticised them as pointless endeavours, while Esquerra view the talks as a potential avenue to get Spain to agree on a referendum. The two parties clashed over other things as well, not just the path to pursue independence. A proposal to expand Barcelona Airport fell through last year, with pro-business Junts pushing for it and Esquerra hesitating over environmental concerns. This summer, Junts President Laura Porras was suspended as Parliament Speaker, with votes from Esquerra members over her involvement in a corruption case. More recently, Pere Aragonés declined to attend the National Day rally after organisers were critical of his government, and Esquerra members were whistled in at an event for the 5th anniversary of the 2017 referendum. Against this backdrop of uncertainty over the pathway to pursue independence and bitter resentment growing between the two sides of the divide, Junts decided to up the pressure on Aragonés during the general policy debate after the summer by suggesting that the president submit himself to a motion of confidence. Jun said at the time that they wanted to ensure that the investiture agreement was being complied with, but Aragonés viewed the move as an act of distrust in his executive, and promptly fired his vice president as a result. Junts responded by calling an internal vote among their members, who decided to break the decade of cooperation with the other main wing of the pro-independence bloc and leave the government.